Crypto asset lending has been a subsector of the overall crypto markets which has been quietly growing in the shadows for the last few years. Initially, the crypto asset lending industry began with centralized lending services such as Celsius Network and BlockFi, which did garner attention from their initial success. To date, Celsius Network has reported over $4 billion as in loans. However, the hype and attention surrounding decentralized finance, DeFi, and the growth of several major lending platforms under the DeFi umbrella on the Ethereum blockchain has recently shined a lot more light on one of the crypto industry's best kept secrets. The success of DeFi can be ascribed to a number of different reasons, but record low interest rates for savers in traditional banks and financial institutions has been a major factor. Over the longer one-year term no sector had a median row higher than Bitcoin's row over the same period, 140%, slash slash t. Olorado slash Kamijup C, Longhash, at Longhastata, January 28, 2020 Masari study highlights DeFi as success while the nascent DeFi lending sector is still growing. There are several DeFi platforms that have over $10 million as in Ether, already invested. Maker, Nexo, Repio Credit Network, OV, and Cred have had an average rate of return of up to 15% in the last 90 days, and have been averaging a return of 75% over the last year. Only Bitcoin has had a higher yearly return. There were 349 different tokens which were studied with the same list of criteria. Crypto asset lending poised for explosive growth with the remarkable success of Celsius Network and BlockFi, along with the success surrounding DeFi lending platforms like MakerDAO.com. You can read full post on CryptoFins. News, link available in text below.